Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video is regarding an internship program at Iser Bhopal. So I'll give you a link to reach out to this particular page. The link will be there in the description of this video so that you can directly come up to this particular page. Now this page is dedicated for the internship programs, right? And if you see the first link which says summer internship program 2023, you have to click on this PDF to see the details, right? So once you click on this, you will be able to download a PDF file and this contains all the information. First of all, I want to focus on the date because the date is quite near, the end date is quite near. So the portal will be open from March 27th till April 16th. So make sure that you fill this form before 16th of April so that you don't miss out the opportunity, right? Now this is Iser Bhopal Summer Internship Program 2023. And as it is mentioned that Iser Bhopal invites application from bright and motivated students interested in basic sciences, engineering sciences and economic sciences for its summer research internship program. Selected candidates would participate in research carried out by Iser Bhopal faculties through research reading projects under their supervision. Right Now this program or this internship will be offline internship, it's not an online internship. Okay? Now let's talk about the eligibility and the rules. So who are eligible to apply for it? So the students who have completed or be currently studying in second, third or fourth year of BSc, BTech, BE or first year of MSc, MTech or any equivalent program at the time of application are encouraged to apply. So those who are in first year of MSc, they can apply. Those who are in a BSc first, second, uh, not first, second, third year of BSc, they can also apply. So anyone who is enrolled right now, so MSc pass out cannot apply for this. Next thing is that candidates are requested to fill the online internship application form. Providing false information will invite cancellation of the application registration. Okay, so don't provide false information. That's what they are mentioning. Now, please note that the student can apply up to two projects from the listed projects. You may browse the faculty website web page at institutes website to get more information about their research work. Faculty is not listed in the list of available project will not be offering any summer projects. Kindly do not contact them directly for projects. Uh, duration of the project will be 4 to 8 weeks between 25th of May to 25th of July. Right? Selected, uh, selection criteria will be based on their academic performance and a write up which they are going to submit. I will show you about all these things write up and all. Uh, after discussing about the other details as well. So what are other details that the list of candidates uh, which are selected for the summer internship will be displayed in the first week of May. No financial assistance will be provided. So this is uh, you are not going to get any stipend for this internship. Hostel accommodation and charges will be applicable as per the rule. Mess will be charged as per the actual rates payable to the mess contractor. After successful completion of the internship and submission of detailed project report, a certificate will be issued by the faculty in charge. If you have any query regarding the program, you can basically mail at this particular email address. For any technical issue, you can write down to this particular email address. Right? And kindly do not contact the concerned faculty for selection information after applying for the internship. That means please don't bother the faculties. Now let me show you that how you can apply for this okay so once you click on this link which says online internship application form so you will be taken to another page uh, which is going to be the application form for this so you will be taken to this page where you can actually apply you can actually register and then apply for the internship right so if you are new to this you have to click on new internship registration once you click on this, uh, you have to uh, provide your full name, your email address, your date of birth, your mobile number, your Aadhaar card and your gender. Once you give this, you will get a password on your email address, right? Uh, once you get that password, using that password and that email address, you can actually register or you can basically log in, okay? So I have done that for you with a temporary email. So let me just show you how you can do this. So once you log into this, you are going to get your full name here, uh, your roll number will be here. So basically if you belong to non iser Bhopal, you have to click on this and then you have to fill that which degree you are pursuing, which subject you are doing, 
from which year to which year you have done it your photo then your department your faculty name okay then project which project you are actually choosing then project abstract you have to provide and uh, you can basically provide two subjects so that's what you have to do then you have to upload your cv your statement of purpose you have to write down complete address of correspondence your mobile number and email address and bar number will be already filled your educational detail and that's how it will be submitted so basically they are asking to fill uh, the department faculty and the project so as uh, we have like you have to go to the website and check that which projects are under which faculty okay so there is a list of uh, projects under a particular faculty so you have to see that and then that abstract will always already be written okay prerequisite will be there all you have to do is provide a statement of purpose over here okay uh, same goes for the second choice so you can choose two professors or two uh, faculties and you can select the projects based upon them and you will see that that abstract will be already available over here how many positions are available that is also provided and then you can write down a statement of purpose on your own right so that thing you have to do and you have to fill the rest of the things right and then you have to submit this form so that's how this form needs to be filled so i hope you understood how to apply for iser bhopal uh, summer internship program date is quite close the end date is quite close so apply on, uh, for it as soon as possible that's it for my side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care